here, you see me singing in front of 2,000 plus people performing. Absolutely mental. The biggest manifestation in manifestation and law of attraction history. Why? <laughs> because when I was younger, uh, I wanted to be a, like some movie star or, or, or be on stage and sing or perform or something like that. Right? Yeah. yeah. But uh, this is my dad, by the way. <laughs> You want a mic? You want to say hi? <laughs> hi. hi. <laughs> and um, um, back then, uh, I remember we used to have this big karaoke, uh, the big disc, yeah. this size. What's it yeah, called? LP, yeah. is it? LP, called LP. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. And uh, we used to sing karaoke, it used to be Lao Dawa and Di yeah. Lao. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, but, but the interesting thing, I don't think mum and dad know this, but when I was, uh, mum's here, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, yeah, she says. Hi, okay. So, um, actually, when I was a little little kid, I was part of the school choir. Uh, this was when I was probably like seven years old or something. And when I was part of the school choir, one time I was uh, <laughs> we were still singing, and then there was a kid behind me. His name is John. I'm not gonna say his full name just in case he watches this thing. So, otherwise, he'll feel like he traumatized me. Yeah. But anyway, we're singing in choir in school. And then uh, singing, 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 singing. And then he tapped me on the back and he said, can you stop it? And I looked behind and I said, what? He said, your singing is so bad. Can you stop it? I don't know if I ever told you this, mom. At school in choir, I was probably six, seven years old. This is in Pontilan time. And then I was singing in choir. I used to be in choir, can you remember? Mom can remember that, right? And then, um, yeah, and he said, can you stop it? And he said, your singing is so bad. I remember I was so, so upset. I just kept it inside me and I was, felt so, so bad. And I went home. I think I remember telling mom or dad that I said, I said, I don't want to be part of the choir anymore. And I remember mom said to me at the time, why do you not want to do it? I said, I just don't want to do it anymore. But it's because uh, they said that I was very bad at singing. And so imagine all through my life, I don't dare sing. Only at home when he bought a karaoke machine, I sang sometimes, you know, but still I was very cautious about the way I sing because of that situation. Um, and when I was like early 20s, I actually went for, can you remember? I went for singing lessons. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. So about 20, maybe 21, 22, 23, something like that. For a few years, I went for singing lessons and I could, I could see that, um, I don't know whether some people called tone deaf or what you call it like sometimes you just don't hear that you're out of tune right but um, I remember through those lessons I felt like <clears throat> that the, the tone was getting better you know I was going to be being able to hit some of the tones and it wasn't so off as it was before and uh, and it's interesting because when I was a kid I had this dream and goal and I thought oh, it would be really nice to be singing on stage in front of many many people one day obviously I, I didn't think about it after all the traumatizing situations and everything um, but I did it. It's very strange. And I went a long route. We always say manifestations happen in sequences. So I first, and, and it's interesting because I've met so many people in the, in the speaker industry who wanted to either be on movies, they wanted to be actors, actresses, or they wanted to sing and perform. And they kind of took this route. They still ended up on stage performing, but speaking. And uh, long story short, it kind of went round in a circle and how many years later, what, 30 years later, I'm on stage, 2,000 plus people waving their phones around, going absolutely crazy, and I'm singing. And when I finish singing, I'm just thinking, I'm thinking they probably had enough, right Angela? <laughs> probably thinking they probably had enough of my singing. And they're there shouting what? Okay, you know. So they're there shouting the encore, encore, encore. It's just, kind of just covering your face. Just in case. <laughs> so encore, encore, encore. And I'm like, this is really crazy, really surreal moment. I'm sat backstage. I'm thinking they're chanting my name and tell me to come back on to sing another song. So weird. What does this prove to everybody? Manifestation is real. You can think it, you believe it. One day it can manifest, but you got to take the action. You got to say yes. And it may seem uncomfortable sometimes. I mean, Although I've been a speaker for like 12 plus years now on the circuit in front of thousands and thousands of people, thinking to sing and perform is a crazy, crazy thought. Um, but we made it happen. And 
it just shows if you allow yourself to think and believe and do things that are totally outside of your comfort zone you can make anything happen at all let us know inside the comments what are your dreams what are your goals what are things that you have not achieved yet or think of some wild things that you even till today you still think is a little bit wild but you would want to make happen one day let us know what that thing is because you never know by typing it inside the comments by putting it out to the universe once your thoughts start flowing there your actions start flowing there your energy starts arriving there the universe will respond with that energy and that results that's my lines for you today if you enjoyed this video you got anything out of it whatsoever maybe it just made you believe in yourself just a little bit more you know i mean if i can do it and sing on stage i'm sure anybody can do it too okay hit the thumbs up hit the like button allow this message to go out to more people to empower more people inspire more people to live their truest self live their most passionate self and do what they love doing without caring too much about what other people may think about them and uh yeah let us know where you guys are tuned in from we're in hong kong right now we're in a beautiful restaurant you can't see that view i don't know if we can zoom boom you can't see anything at all i knew it right so beautiful view of uh, the hong kong night view it's raining too much i was gonna take you on a walk but no chance right now so next time um other than that if you're completely new to this channel and you haven't already remember remember to hit that subscribe button and the notifications button next to it. That's a little bell sign, by the way. Because this year, we're dedicated to making daily videos so you accountable to make it your best year yet. But for now, guys, we're ready signing out. Namaste. Namo Himalaya.